barometer. A barometer measures air pressure. A change in the air pressure tells us when the weather is likely to change. For this experiment, you will need a tall clear bottle or a jar, a bowl, two pieces of wood, tape, and a pen or pencil. Stick a long piece of paper onto the jar. As you can see, we have already done that. Fill the bowl with water up to where the nozzle of the jar or bottle will be. Okay. We fill it up because we are using thicker wood planks and not as wide of a bowl. If you are using thinner wood planks and a wider bowl, then that means you will not need to fill up as much water. Fill the bottle or jar with water. Now, place the pieces of wood inside the bowl. Okay. Now, this step will get a little messy, so make sure that you are doing this experiment where it is okay to make a mess. Now, cover the lid, cover the jar, make sure that nothing's really leaking, okay? Then flip it upside down onto the wood planks. The reason for putting the wood planks is that we need water to flow in and out of the bottle. Right now the lid is blocking that flow, so we need to remove the lid. It's okay if a little bit of water comes out of the process. You might want to just tilt the bottle a little bit. Did you notice that? The bubble? Whoa! Cool. Now, see, water can flow in and out of the jar, all right? And water is here too, so it's sort of balancing it out. And then this right here is our water level. Wow! Now, we're gonna mark the water level. So, do you wanna mark the water level? Yes! Okay. I'd love to. You should keep track of the barometer and carefully mark the level of water at regular intervals. Can you predict the weather with your barometer? When the air pressure increases, it pushes down on the water in the dish or bowl, forcing the water up the bottle or jar. When the air pressure falls, the level of water in the bottle falls too. Better weather will usually follow when the barometer rises and worse weather when it falls. Wow! I never knew that! Weather is produced by air moving from place to place, which we call winds. Winds are caused by warm air rising and cooler air moving in to take its place. Warm air is lighter or less dense than cool air, so it creates low air pressure. Cool air is heavier or more dense and creates high air pressure. Usually, we have fine weather when the air pressure is high. Low air pressure brings clouds, rain, or snow. So this is our barometer after a week. The water level, the regular water level that we marked at the beginning of the video was like right here. But then this whole week, the weather has been very consistent, very, very hot. So you can see right here, there are just slight changes in water, except that one time when it rained. So right here. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.